Landing on Mars is tricky. There's a complex chain of events that have to go perfectly right. To make it even more difficult, because any signal from Earth takes 12 minutes to get to Mars, the spacecraft must land on its own. First, it must slow down. It's moving at 12,000 miles per hour and needs to touch down at just one and a half miles per hour. The atmosphere begins this process, pummeling the craft with friction and intense heat. While it's streaking across the sky like a meteor, it's also being steered by thrusters. It's now slowed down from hypersonic to supersonic, almost twice the speed of sound. Then, a 70-foot supersonic parachute is fired out like a cannon, inflating in 0.7 seconds, slowing it down even more, just six-tenths the speed of sound. The heat shield that has protected it until now is jettisoned, giving the ship a view of the Martian surface. The spacecraft begins assessing the landscape for a safe place to land, using a new navigation system called Terrain Relative Navigation. It compares what it's seen to a database of imagery taken by Mars orbiters to determine where it is and where it should go. Still going 160 miles per hour, the parachute has done all it can, so it ejects it. The spacecraft then lights up its engines and begins steering to a spot that it has deemed safe. Hovering above the landing zone, the sky crane lowers the rover down at just one and a half miles per hour. Touchdown. Confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars, ready to begin seeking the sands of past life. Having successfully deposited the rover, the remaining portion of the ship flies off to a safe distance. Finally, we've landed on Mars. <laughs>